In this video today, I'm going to show you how to assemble the Frank and Geek Laboratories Spirit Halloween Proton Pack Motherboard Kit. So the kit comes with a number of L brackets, four L brackets. These have a protective paper on them, so you want to start by removing that paper. Now while I'm doing this, I should mention uh, I am putting together a board that has not been painted. I would recommend that you do all your painting uh, and any decoration or weathering effect that you may want to do on your motherboard before you do the assembly. It just makes it easier because you don't want to have to take this all apart again. So I'm just going to finish up moving this paper. It is kind of sticky. It takes a minute to get apart from those four. And these L brackets are what's used to fix the proton pack shell to the motherboard. So there we go. The next thing you're going to want to do is take the speed clips. So these are uh, kind of like what's used in automotive, and this is actually equivalent to using a nut. Um, it's threaded for the screw to go in. You can see like so. And this eliminates the need to have access to the back of whatever you're trying to screw together. So this is what's going to be used to screw the shell onto the L bracket. So what you want to do is get that speed nut onto the L bracket like so. Um, Sometimes these are a little bit hard to line up, so after you put them on, maybe what you can do is thread the screw in there, and it kind of helps align it. You can see how that goes right on through. So you've got four of those to do. It doesn't take too long. If you have trouble getting these um, spread open to get them onto the bracket, you can use a, a flathead screwdriver to kind of pry that open a little bit. Now you want to get the side that has a little bump on it uh, toward the inside of the L because that's going to be what's facing the inside of the pack, just like that. And once you've got that all done, you'll be ready to start assembling the motherboard. So to do that, I'm going to move all these other screws out of the way. The kit also comes with four truss head slotted screws and uh, nylon locking nuts to mount the L bracket to the motherboard. You'll see this uh, bigger hardware here is what's used in the pack spacers to mount the Alice pack frame to the motherboard. So I've got my motherboard here. Uh, you can see where the marking is that indicates that that's in fact the inside, what's going to be inside the pack. So all you're going to do is put those L brackets all the way around and I'm going to pause the video then and finish the assembly after I show you this because it's kind of hard to do on camera. And you're going to put the screws in from the back so that the screw head is what's visible outside the shell. And then you're going to put your nuts on. So you'll need a, a flathead screwdriver. And I like to use a, a, a ratchet for this. It's a little bit easier to put the locking nuts on. This is a 3 8 inch, uh, quarter inch drive. doesn't matter about the drive size. But you'll need a 3 8 inch socket or a wrench or maybe an adjustable wrench. Okay, so now I've got the L brackets mounted onto the motherboard. You can see here, uh, that's what it looks like from the outside. So very close to what the original screen props used in terms of mounting brackets. You don't need to tighten these down very much. Uh, just make them snug so that they don't spin loosely, but you do want to be able to uh, turn these if you need to make any fine adjustments when you're putting it together. So the next thing we need to do is get our pack frame ready to mount to the motherboard. The pack frame has come with two different uh, or two mounting slots already pre-drilled on the bottom. So these, these ones here. But you will need to drill a third mounting point on the pack frame on the vertical support bar in the middle. Uh, and that's your third mounting point to the pack. So this is one of the Rothko pack frames. I know some people don't like them, but I found they're quite adequate for the Spirit pack builds because they're not that heavy. So what you want to do is measure up three inches from the top of this horizontal bar 
and mark your center point, and that's where you're going to drill your 3 8 inch hole for the third mounting point. See, this one's already drilled and ready to go. Once you've got that drilled, you're going to take your three mounting screws. These are 3 8 inch uh, slotted screws. Sorry, I did that backwards. To do this from the inside, so you can drop the screws in there. And the ones on the bottom are sometimes a little tricky to get in. You have to put them in at an angle. So then you're going to slide on your pack spacers. So these pack spacers, you're going to notice there's three of them, and there is one that is longer than the other two. The longer one goes on the upper mounting point. The two shorter ones go on the bottom of the pack frame. So you can just slide those over the bolts. It's a little hard to see. Basically like that. And then you're going to put the whole thing together onto the motherboard. So this is a bit of a balancing act. Sometimes it's helpful to have a, uh, a helper for this. But you may want to go just one at a time to get this together rather than trying to do all three. So there is the center. You're going to put a flat washer on top of that and a nylon lock nut on top of that and snug that up. Once again, because these are locking nuts, you don't need to tighten them down super hard. Um, just enough that they're snug and nothing's moving around. Uh, I chose the nylon lock nuts for the kit because you don't have to worry about them loosening up over time. Um, so they are a little bit hard to tighten, but trust me, it's worth the effort. So once we get that one into place, we'll get the next one. get everything super tightened up and make sure that you're happy with the uh, placement of the motherboard and the alignment on the pack frame itself. So it kind of wants to naturally align itself. You can check to make sure that this uh, on the bottom here that it's horizontally centered and make any adjustments as needed before you do the final tightening where you're going to need once again a large flathead screwdriver and Again, I like to use a ratchet for this. Uh, this is a 9 16 socket you'll need or a 9 16 wrench or an adjustable wrench to tighten these three down. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll show you how to do the uh, prepare the pack shell to mount. Okay, so I've got the motherboard and the pack frame all assembled and mounted together. These are all secured in place. And we're now ready to prepare the pack shell to mount to the motherboard. We'll move this out of the way. And bring in the pack shell. So I've found that it's actually a little bit easier to measure everything if you lay it flat on a table like this uh, with nothing on the back. And now you're going to take your measurements to drill the holes in the sides of the pack. So this is a, a little bit daunting to some, but it's really not that hard and there's quite a margin for error. So the first hole is going to be up here uh, near the ion arm. And what you want to do is measure down about one inch or 26 millimeters right here from the edge, from this top edge go down one inch or 26 millimeters and make a mark there. And then from the table, you're going to measure up 16 millimeters. And from the 16 millimeter mark, you're gonna make your mark there. And that's gonna be your mounting hole, the first location. The second location is right down here uh, underneath the bumper by the cyclotron. So from the table, you're going to measure up 16 millimeters once again. 
and you just want to pretty much center that in the middle of the bumper. And the bumper is about 35 millimeters, so center of that is gonna be somewhere around 17 and a half millimeters. Once again, you don't need to be super precise, but take your time here uh, to make the second mounting location. The third mounting location is the other side of the bumper. Again, you're gonna measure up from the table, 16 millimeters, and center in the bumper area again. That's going to give you the third mounting location. And then the last mounting location, let's bring this up on end, hopefully you can see this, is going to be in between these two ribs on the gun block. And so once again, you're going to measure up 16 millimeters from the back. So about there. Make your mark here. I use a pencil because the graphite does show up on the black. And then you just need to find the center of that rib spacing. So somewhere around seven millimeters should be the center. You can kind of eyeball it. Once again, you don't need to be precise. So once you've marked all four of those locations, you want to drill them out with a quarter inch drill bit. And that'll give you just enough tolerance that you can kind of wiggle everything around as you're doing the final assembly on it. So I'm going to, uh, grab another shell that I've already got drilled and show you how to do the final assembly there. Okay, so you can see now I've got my mounting holes all drilled, both sides, and we're now ready to attach some motherboard to the shell. So you just put that together, make sure all the L brackets are inside. And this is the fun part, getting all the holes to line up. So your kit comes with some mounting hardware. You're going to have three cap screws, three flat washers, and a Phillips head screw. The Phillips head screw is going to be used to fix the gun block mounting point up here. And that's because the cap screw might get in the way of any kind of uh, mounting rail system or magnet you may be using to hold your wand in place. So this kind of stays out of the way a little bit easier. So I like to try to mount that one first and uh, just tighten it enough that the screws threads are engaged but don't tighten it down all the way yet and just work your way around installing everything as you go. These can be a little bit finicky uh, especially with the, the clip nuts, like I mentioned earlier. You can see that one's not lining up so well, so I'm going to try and get my screwdriver in there, hopefully to line everything up a little bit better. Now, if you really continue to have problems getting these to line up, well, that one went in nicely, you can do a couple of things. You could drill the hole out on the shell a little bit bigger because the flat washer is going to cover that hole, uh, you want to be careful because if your alignment is way off and your measurements are off, you may be able to see that hole, but you could drill that out a little bit bigger. The other thing you could do if you need to is take this back apart again, take those speed nuts off the mounting brackets, and drill out the mounting bracket hole a little bit bigger so that you have a little more wiggle room with the speed nut on top of that, with the clip nut. Um, you can see they get, they're pretty close in size, so if you need to, you could drill that hole out in the mounting bracket a little bit bigger uh, if you're really having trouble. Most of the time, it's not necessary, but these can be a little bit finicky, and you could drill that out with a, a quarter-inch drill bit if you need to. leave that maybe about an eighth inch sticking out to get started. And get that last one in, hopefully without issue. So 
Now, before you tighten all the screws up, you can take a minute to check how the pack is sitting on the floor, what the alignment looks like. Because there's, again, there's a little bit of adjustment built into this, and if you need to move it left or right or up or down a little bit, you should be able to do that. So, I'll try to demonstrate that here. You can see this isn't really very even here around the bottom of the cyclotron. So if I loosen those screws up on either side a little bit more, I should be able to kind of nudge this and move it around to a point where the alignment looks good and everything looks centered, and then tighten the screws down. And you can see I think that looks a bit more even all around. The same up at the top as needed uh, to adjust that. So, let's see, get that tightened up now. Pretty good.